States courts, yet nothing is done. They end up before the Crown Courts and ultimately they end up going before the Coroner's Courts. Yet throughout all this circle, nothing ever breaks it. The people that are paid a good living wage to stop this are failing it. Failing it. And sometimes it's deliberate. Sometimes it's apathy. Sometimes it's ignorance. I've just come back from Rotherham, a town in the a small steel town um, in the northwest cluster of the UK. I met with a social worker who had exposed the child prostitution problem. Um, she ran an outreach group and the kids were coming to her and then one would tell her another and she looked into it. It was organised prostitution. It's a small little town. 2,000 children were being pimped out. She got attacked. She got attacked from the police. Her husband nearly lost his job. It nearly brought her to this point of suicide. And this is what they did. It was orchestrated and it was manipulated at the highest echelons. And she said it was coming from the high-ranking officers. And it was. But yet all they would offer up would be the lower-ranking officers for some form of malfeasance, whatever. But it is being orchestrated at the very top. <coughs> My investigation showed a strong link with high-ranked officers and organised criminals. I spoke with another um, child abuse investigator in um, a quite high ranked officer and I spoke to him from Manchester again he proved, had a proven link between high ranked officers and organised criminals and child prostitution there we had a, um, a glimmer of hope in the form of a chief constable a commissioner of police for a county called Wiltshire the man's name is Mike Veal he stood up and he investigated child prostitution child trafficking, child abuse, everything else, but involved former Prime Minister Ted He. He turned around in Parliament and he said, if they can attack me because he come under attack, and he said he came under attack from places he didn't even know existed, and he said, if they can attack me, God knows what they'll do to John Witcher, which in a way was a bit of an accolade, but, and I spoke to him and he said, it, it, it's just vile, John. Yeah. It is vile. I then looked at how many Police officer, the policeman's biggest fear is going to prison. And they know it. They know it. This is deliberate. What we're looking at is deliberate. I was a good guy. When you're a policeman, you take an oath. And your oath mm -hmm. is, I will act without fear or without favour. Mm 